In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calculate the Mach number for a given temperature. So, the first thing we want to do is calculate the temperature of the outside air. We can do that by looking at the thermometer, which is usually on a Cessna 172, just above the co-pilot's head on the top quarter panel. Once we know the temperature, we're going to go to what's known as the Mach index. And the Mach index goes inside this window. Well, right now, we don't see that. Where did it go? All we have to do is rotate it, and there it is. It's the Mach index. So let's assume that the temperature is around 30 degrees plus Celsius. So we'll line up the pointer with the number 30. So that's 50. Here we've got 40. And there we've got 30 degrees Celsius. So let's calculate a Mach number. That might be interesting. Probably never going to use it in a Cessna or most general aviation airplanes unless you're flying in, let's say, a Cessna Citation. But let's look at what the, the airspeed is in knots if we're going Mach 1. So all we do is look on the inside scale for the number 1. This would be Mach 1, Mach 0.9, Mach 0.8, Mach 1.1, Mach 1.2, and etc. So at Mach 1, we're going to be going 6.5, 6.6, around 670 knots would be Mach 1 for a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. It's that easy.